Bonjour, no, ladies and gentlemen. You may wonder why I'm saying it like that. This is about my fifth take of the intro. It's getting on my nerves. Uh, let's just get into it, though. If there's any errors, I cannot be bothered doing it again. So sorry, but here we go. Um, before we get into today's episode, guys, I just want you to know, um, if you can, please make sure to follow my channel. I've only just started, and hopefully, the quality of my videos can get a lot better as soon as I get into them. I know the rubbish at the beginning, they always are, um, but I don't want it to get too late. I get too famous, obviously, you know, and then you can't get in contact with me. I love communicating to people, so if you want to, just make sure you drop a comment, and I'll be sure to, you know, comment back and follow me on Twitter. I'll put up my Twitter. But more to the point, add my FPL league. I'm going to put the code up onto the video as we're speaking now. Um, so hopefully you can join. Uh, there's a few people in our league. There's only about three of us at the moment. But I've not really advertised it yet. But make sure you join and get any friends to join. And uh, fingers crossed it all goes well. Now let's get into the episode. Now today I'm going to be looking at a player named Aleksandra Mitrovic, the Serbian who was from Andelect and has now moved to Newcastle United. Um, all the stats I have here in front of me today um, are from soccerbase.com so if any of them are wrong then you know make sure to comment them but you know if you know more than me um, but just a little bit of what I know about him um, I know he's Serbian and stuff and I know he's um, I know he's done quite well for Anderlet last season uh, looking at the stats here I think he had 49 starts and then four sub appearances which in all add up to around 53 actual league appearances this is not including any other you know appearances in other cups um, and he had 27 goals 27 goals 27 goals 27 See? goals Unbelievable. now when you equal that out, you. Equal that out find out the score behind that that equals 0.5 all goals per game ratio which evens out at a goal per two games I believe so he scores one in every two games now this is debatable whether he is such a good quality as in fairness he's he could he could be debated that Anderlecht in the Belgian Pro League is not as competitive as the say BPL but he is only 20 years old and if he has that quality that eye for goal in <laughs> You can you can scoring against people who understand the rules of football. At the end of the day, he is scoring goals. At 20 years old, that means he has many, many years to adapt if he does stay with Newcastle United. And I do have my fingers crossed for him, but there is talk of him being a bit like Mario Balotelli. And we all know how that ended. I think he was at Inter first, and then he went to Man City, and then he went to AC Milan. And then I think he's come to Liverpool. If I've got that out of order, please comment. I'm not quite this sure. This is great I was answer. It and really is. And I'll, I'll see if I can flash it up. But there's one where he's got like spotted cheek hair. He's a bit weird looking with his um, odd haircut. But you know, uh, fingers crossed he doesn't go down that same path of, you know, never filling the potential. And he has said in an interview recently that, um, you know, he does want to be one of the best in Europe, one of the, the, one of the best strikers. And I can see he's got the right build, he's got the potential. He's breaking news! Bre 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 breaking news! He seems like the only decent striker at Newcastle. Now, if you are a Newcastle fan, um, please don't take this offensively, but you know more than yourselves, goals haven't been your strong point, and I'm hoping that this guy is for you. Um, I think I've got, you know, going into the F FPL side of things, which is why most of you might be here, um, you know, I believe that he is, he is, um, t -t -t today, Junior! These are the other strikers at Newcastle that he's in competition with. you got Iosi Perez. He's alright, but he's not that world-class quality, or even that Barclays Premier League quality that I think they're looking for. He could probably apply his trade in a different, you know, maybe league where you know I don't know I don't think he's right for the league um, you got Papi Cissé shown that he's got quality in the past but I don't know I don't know he, I think he got a ban last season I think for the spitting at Johnny Evans and Johnny Evans spat back at him and they both got banned you know I don't know I don't know about him I don't, I'm not really sure um, I 
think it's Emmanuel Riviere that I've got down here. I cannot read my handwriting. <laughs> um, but Emmanuel Riviere, I believe, is injured. I'm not quite sure. I could be wrong, but I think he is injured. So he's not going to be a possible choice. And as well, Adam Armstrong. Now, I know Adam Armstrong because I used him in a FIFA career mode about two years ago. And I got him to about a 78 potential, but that's another story. Um, but I don't think he is right just yet. Derp. 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 So if you are going to buy him, I'd wait till he proves himself after these eight games. See if you still want him. If he hasn't, then you've not took the gamble. If you have, though, you know, if you do want to go and get him after this, then he has a good run of games and you'll probably get a few goals out of him. But that's all I've got to say on him today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, if you have, please comment. You know, more than anything, I do want to interact with you guys. And if you can, subscribe and stuff. Just help boost the channel and um, get us places. But thank you very much. I've been Joe and... Um, See you later. 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 See you later.